We just had our annual youth intake. We have signed everybody because they are pretty incredible compared to what we had. We've also played our first two of the final four games on the season. And we've got highlights of the next to last match of the season. The good news is we're still alive for the playoffs. Maybe for the league. Roll the intro and let's get caught up to date. Hey guys, RC here back with episode 10 of Play the Kids, our FM21 save. Here's the highlights against Yeovil. Uh, Cook with the free kick to the back post, it was put in. And then Sloan on the corner goes near post. And Hemmings makes the run from the back line. And our center back puts the header into the net. Bliss Cotterill was sent off with a straight red card in the 83rd minute. So he will be suspended for the final game of the season. And I guess uh, playoffs or the opening match of next season, depending on what happens. Let's also take a look at the rest of our schedule. We lost 2-1 to one to Maidstone. Robin Mudge got the lone goal. Steve Mead scored a brace against us, including an 84th minute winner. And a 2-2 draw against Salisbury. And Robin Mudge with the brace in two minutes or one minute. And then we gave up two goals to equalize. So we've been pretty crap defensively. We just can't keep people out of the goal. We did get the clean sheet against Yeovil, lucky enough. Let's take a look at the squad. I want to show you guys the youth intake. So we've sorted this out by age, and you can see the ratings and potential here. So everybody looks really good, and it's all the way up through Peter Davies. I signed everybody. Uh, and I'm probably going to make a habit of that at least till we get to a little bit higher level and these guys maybe start coming in at, you know, two, two and a half star at best. Uh, but you never know with the way that we've got this save set up, we may have to play guys like that. So, but a lot of good potential here at least. And you can see uh, the highlight here, John Bliss has uh, made his debut. He's played two matches playing a 6.75 three-star current, five-star potential. And there's a look at him, 16-year-old Englishman. Uh, he's got pace. Uh, determination is good, which is the uh, the Sean factor that I like to call it. Uh, pass, he can pass the ball. So uh, pretty decent in midfield. And he is judged to be our number one midfielder. Even over the guys, that the loan guys that we have signed already for next season. So that might turn out to be a waste of money. Or it might just turn out to be some depth. We'll see. The other guy was uh, an American, so I used my American connections to bring this kid into the academy. Jose Luis Nuevo, uh, 16 years old. He's made his debut with one start, four-star current ability, five-star potential. Uh, he's more a number 10, but he's got similar marking ability to uh, Bliss, and so... He can pass the ball. He's got good determination. So I, I might I might really have to look at a number 10 with him next year because I just think with his first touch and passing, he could be a really good distributor up here as a playmaker, feeding the ball. So I'm thinking maybe like a, a 4 2 3 one, uh, or a 4 2 4 with the the wingers like we've been playing, uh, but that doesn't fit him up there. And if I go with the number 10, then I lose my two striker setup, and I'm not a big fan of doing that. So not sure. Uh, taking a look at the competition with one match left to play, uh, we are in third place. Uh, let's see. Looks like Bella Ricky did beat Concord. Let's see if I can find out for sure. Yeah, Bellaricki's won three in a row. Concord's lost two in a row. So Bellaricki just beat Concord today, which knocks them down uh, below us. Eastley is now only two points with a loss, that 5-0 loss today. Oh, boy. So Bellaricki, let's see. All right, Bellaricki plays Dulwich Hamlet, who are already relegated. So nothing to play for. So that's not good. 
Uh, then Eastley is playing Weldstone, who are in ninth, and they've got a chance with a win to make the playoffs. So there's something for them to fight for. And Concord are playing Chesham, who are also in eighth position with something to play for. So that works in our favor, uh, but the Bellaricki game, that's, that's the one we need something to happen. So we need Bellaricki to lose, we need Eastley to lose, and we need to win. At the end of the day, we've got to win. Uh, Greg Williams, uh, Graham Williams, I'm sorry, he has not scored in a while. Do I want to have a chat with him? He hasn't scored in five, and he's had a couple of down matches. Let's uh, let's just see if we can pick him up just a little bit, because we really need him. He's been a one-man wrecking crew for us this season, and with him not performing, it's really hurt us down the, this stretch. So, all right, well, let's get to the kickoff and the lineups. All right, I'm going to tweak this tactic. This is this is the number 10 with two strikers that we've had in here. Uh, so originally this was a 4-1-2-1-2, um, or a 4-4-2 with a diamond. But we're going to push that defensive mid because we really don't have a good one. Uh, we're going to push him up into the central mid so we can start Bliss, our young player. And it puts Nuevo, the new other young player, into that number 10 that he is more natural at. I was going to start Cook, but Mudge has had a better go here in the last run of games. So Murphy in goal, Taylor, Hemmings, Tierney, and Sloan on the back line. Wilkins, Bull Bliss, White in the midfield. Nuevo in the number 10, and Mudge and Williams up top. Come on, boys. We've got to win. We still don't control our own destiny. Wow, we're 18th in recent form. Damn. It's all over to you. Have a good game. All right, let's encourage them. Come on. All right, Bliss. Ooh, he plays it short to Taylor. Back to Bliss, into the box, and it's headed in by Quentin Hemmings, his fifth of the season. Bliss with the assist, the 16-year-old. Bliss, by the way, on his debut, set the club record for the youngest uh, player to ever start a match for, what am I? I want to find, here we go, latest scores. All right, so we're up into second. I'm just going to check. We're only a cup 15 minutes in, but Bella Ricky are drawing. We need them to lose. So, well, actually, yes, we need them to lose because that point gives them 88. So we need Dulwich Hamlet to win. Eastley's drawing. No, oh, come on. <laughs> we'll be looking at that a lot, I am sure. Come on, fellas. Let's praise them now. Oh, Dulwich Hamlet has gone up 2 0 on Bella Ricky. Oh, my goodness. A 20th and a 26th minute goal. Chesham is beating Concord, and we have gone top of the table. Oh, my goodness. Now, where's Eastley at? Eastley's still drawing with, Wields, with Weldstone. A draw, a draw gets it for us. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, the nerves are setting in. Let's demand a little more here. Well, no, hold on. How are we both in yellow shirts? I mean, I know they have blue, but that's got to be... And I'm not colorblind, by the way. one nothing at the half. I'll be happy with that. Hemmings has picked up a yellow card. Uh, let's go outstretched arms. No, let's uh, let's pump the fist. All right, they're motivated. All right, things are still going our way. Let's encourage them again. Oh, they've got the highlight. It's knocked away. No, punched away by the keeper. That's good. Bliss made a run at the ball, but couldn't get it. Taylor with the steal. Wilkins is given a run. Play it up to him, man. All right, there's the ball up to Wilkins. Wilkins has passed a poor tackle, and he puts it right on a defender's head. There's Bliss, Taylor. 
Oh, uh, that was a poor ball in. Hemmings is on it. There's Nuevo. He finds White. Nuevo, you're way too deep there, buddy. Sloan. Sloan. Oh, Sloan may have drawn a penalty. Sloan looks like he drew a penalty. He did, and it's our top goal scorer, Williams. He's lining it up. Come on. Oh, my God, it's saved. Oh, no. Oh, that could have gave us a two-goal advantage. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's, let's pause it here for a minute. Um, all right, Sloan is looking ill-disciplined. I don't like that, and he's not playing very well. But I don't have anybody else that can play out there. Taylor. Taylor can play over there. Let's move him over. And then we'll pull Sloan off for Justin Bone. I'm not ready to give Kavanaugh his debut, not, especially not looking nervous. And then Nuevo's playing a 6-5. Bliss is playing a 7-4. And it's Grant Wilkins that's playing a 6-4. I've almost got to keep him in, though, right? Robin Mudge is playing okay. Let's bring, let's bring Cook in for him. Williams is still composed, even though he gave he missed that penalty. All right, let's uh, let's demand more. All right, Bates. Oh no! Looks like one of our defenders got a head on, or just missed a header. That's horrible. And I swear I can't tell the difference. They should not be allowed to wear those kits. Tierney missed it, and Hemmings couldn't block out Molino. Ah! Come on, fellas. Oh, and now we've got an injury. It's bone. And I'm not going to have a choice here. We're going to have to bring on Ray Cavanaugh. He's going to make his debut in a huge spot. Uh, let's give him a pep talk. Hands together. Let's tell him not to have any uh, any pressure. I mean, there there's there's tons of pressure. Oh my goodness, Grant Wilkins, and I'm glad we did not pull him off. That was a poor effort from Cook, but it was cleared right back to Wilkins, and he pops it in the net. Headed away, Wilkins makes the charge, and jelly hands from Matanado. And we are up two to one. And that puts us back in the lead. Let's pause it and catch up to date here. All right, so Concord's losing 4 0. Dulwich Hamlet's destroying Bellaricki 4 0. Jones is my new favorite player. And who's the other one? Eastley. Where are they at? Eastley. I missed them. Why is Eastley not in there? They were playing earlier, right? Hello? Hello? Does the game take them out just to, just to ruin my life? Is that what's going on here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, headed out. They reset. Yeah, I swear to God, I can't tell. That's a horrible, horrible decision by the official to let them wear the kits. All right, let's praise them. Final minutes. All right, I am going to... few minutes late for this, but... Let's uh, let's slow the pace down and play for set pieces. Five minutes. And Eastley. No, no. And look, they're not showing up in here. 
Oh, that is killing me. But they've scored. They've taken the lead, so they've got... Oh, man. But they... 5-0 Dulwich Hamlet. That is crazy. Why are they not in here? <laughs> I did not realize the game did that. Easley just... Oh, Easley scored in the 90th minute. Oh, Asa Wood, I hate you. I'm really glad that I'm playing with all new gens because... I really wish harm to befall you now. And the fact that you're not a real person makes me feel better about myself. 90th minute goal. Why are they not? Have you guys ever noticed that? Let me know in the comments where they're not showing the game that most impacts us. It was there in the first half. And then it disappeared. Into the cosmos. And then they score in the 90th minute. I'm thinking there's some VAR here involved that's what i'm feeling oh shit all right we're gonna go outstretched arms we got what we wanted today professional job please let there have been a late 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 goal there was not and look it's right there it wasn't there on the damn scoreboard 92nd minute goal. I hate him. I hate him so much. With a passion. With a passion. 5-0. I can't get over that. So we're bound for the playoffs, guys. That sucks. Justin Bones out three to four months, so he is done. Ray Cavanaugh made his debut. Easley raised the title. And we will play either Concord or Borum Wood. Oh, we get a buy. We get an op we get a we get an open date that first week, right? That's correct. Yes, that is correct. <gasps> Yay! The one less game we've got to win, so we go straight into the semifinal. All right, I can live with that. So next episode, playoff semifinal, and possibly playoff final we'll see i'm really disappointed in that 90 second goal but i am interested to see if you guys can educate me a little bit i've never noticed scores falling off of the table in game i've never noticed that so that was interesting guys hit that like button for me subscribe for daily football manager content here on the channel and we will see you in two days for playoff action. Take care. Bye.